I did a speed test and I was getting 11 megabytes on the download and two on the upload. So what we're going to do is we're just going to unplug the router, get the power out of it, just pop this out, and then we're just going to let it sit for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I'm also going to shut the computer down and turn it off. And, um, and then we're going to wait and then we're going to come back and plug everything back in, turn everything back on and see how she does. All right, so we've waited about, I don't know, five minutes or so. And all we're just going to do is we're going to grab this. We're going to plug it back in. Now, it takes probably about 15 minutes for this thing to initialize and for all the green buttons to come back on. So we're going to have to wait. As you can see, only one's blinking right now, which, of course, is the power button. And now we got to turn the uh, computer back on also. Bam, we get all of our other things lit up. And you can see there's the Wi-Fi. We're ready to go. Now we can turn the computer back on and do a speed test on it and see if it works. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Do a speed test. Here we go. Let's see if it fixed it. We should get 30. Should be at just about 30. That did help, didn't it? It like tripled our speed. Still not that good though. Let's see what else we got. All right, well, not much better, but still better than it was. All right, look at that, 3.4. That's ridiculous. AT&T totally sucks. They're the worst. All right, so anyway, that's what you do if you have a problem with your speed. Peace out.